Put in my two weeks notice, covert narcissistic supervisor reveals herself. I, 30F, have been working at a super small construction company for the past two years. I've put my best foot forward every day, and never had any issues with anyone in the company. As of three months ago, they moved me from an infield coordinator to an accounting position. It was an emergency move as one of the employees stole 80k from the company and they needed an immediate replacement. My new supervisor, we'll call her Mary, 34F, was always super kind to me and we've became pretty good in work friends. Well these past couple months have been hell. I hate the new position. And to be fair, I'm not very good at it. So I found a new position and I've been keeping it a secret for a while. I let the owner know first and he was very kind and receptive to it. The issue started when Mary got word of it. She immediately cornered me and started going on this rant saying things like. Why didn't you tell me? You're being incredibly unfair and selfish. I can't believe you would do this to us. This is unacceptable. Don't ask me for a referral because you are not getting one from me, etc. I politely told her that the opportunity was something I simply couldn't pass up. She then went to the owner and asked for any details I might have given to him about the new company. And new position. I believed to try to sabotage me leaving. And thankfully I hadn't discussed any details about it with anyone. It was awkward after that. But I didn't think anything of it. The next day when things took a turn for the worst Mary decided to be petty and removed all of my authorizations to any accounts I had so I couldn't perform any of my daily tasks. I didn't want to leave on a sour note. So I brought it up to the owner as Mary was ooh. Out of office. That day. He reauthorized my accounts and I continued to work. Mary was back the following day and was completely livid that I had went around her and talked directly to the owner. Her actions towards me would only get worse from here on out. The next day, I came in to notice that my desk was moved and my computer access was taken away yet again. Cue the malicious compliance. Since I couldn't do any of my daily tasks, and really didn't feel like dealing with a screaming Mary the first was on Reddit for basically the whole day. At the end of the day, Mary came into my new back storage office and said, busy day today? I know mine was. I just smiled and said, yep. Exhausting. She did not like that response and went to the owner to say that I was purposefully not doing my job. And my last two weeks would be pointless so we should just let her me. Go now. The owner disagrees calls me into his office. And after I explained what she had done, he gave me access again. And told Mary to work from home. Another day goes by. It's extremely peaceful now that Mary is working remote. But unfortunately this does not mean my day was getting any easier. Instead of taking my access away she had IT start forwarding all my emails to other employees in other departments that had nothing to do with my specific position. At this point I only had three days left and so I just took it as, okay. This sucks for them. But it's on Mary's head if anyone has any questions. I looked at my PTO and I had way more than I had thought. So why not use those for my last days? And that's exactly what I did. I was originally supposed to let all vendors know and start forwarding them off to the appropriate people, and interview second round candidates for my position. But not anymore. The owner was completely okay with it. And understood that Mary was being toxic and that he would have a talk with her about her attitude. And position if this continues. Now with my last two days. And me being on PTO. I finally thought I was safe from Mary. But lo and behold she was still holding a massive grudge. As if me leaving my position was a personal attack on her. She called me at 4.30 in the morning. And left me a voicemail saying our company was having an accounting emergency. And I need to come. In immediately. I called her back about 4 hours later. Which she was fuming about. 
and went on a massive rant about how I'm extremely entitled. I will never get anywhere with my attitude. She's embarrassed for our company to say that I ever worked here. That if she ever finds out where I will be working she will make sure that I'm fired and will never get a job in this town again. I laughed at her, and she went ballistic like when you take a four-year-old's toy away. Screaming so loud her voice was shaking. Saying silly things like I have no respect for her or the company and that I will rot in hell. I hung up on her once she started bringing my family into things. I called the owner and explained to him what happened which he wasn't shocked about and had told me. That when she came in that morning she was going on a rampage like the Tasmanian devil. After finding out why she was freaking out. He promptly fired her. I was shocked since this was such a small company and he definitely needed her. I had heard from another co-worker that she ended up destroying a bunch of company property on her. Way out and now she's facing a lawsuit due to the damages. So thankful she revealed her true self to everyone and that I'm far far away from that company and her. Wow. Edit. I was wondering why the temper tantrum. What about this as an explanation she'd outsourced her job to you and now had to actually work for a living? How much of her work was she having you do? Wild ride and I was down for it. Hilarious. Grats on the new job. I feel bad for the owner dealing with this. First the bad hat who stole company money. Then losing op and having to fire Crazy Mary. He lost three employees through this chain of events. And it's a small company where any resignation is felt more acutely than a big one. Only good thing is this owner seems to be a sensible person and not swayed by Crazy Mary's office. Politics. Congrats on the new job op. I sincerely hope that she's single. He promptly fired her. I was shocked since this was such a small company and he definitely needed her. No company needs employees who are prepared to sabotage other employees' ability to work. For some personal issue, that she damaged stuff on her way out confirms that his decision to fire her was correct. Several years ago a guy who worked for me found an investor for an idea he had. So he left to go start his own business. I held no grudge. Wrote up a nice farewell email for him. Wished him well. And that was it. Fast forward a few years. And I'm job hunting. I randomly stumble onto his company he's CEO now. And looking for someone to head up the tech department. We couldn't quite make the numbers work out. I eventually went somewhere that paid more for a less demanding job. But he did mention that he was worried about the reception he'd get when he announced he was leaving and he was impressed by the way I handled it. I would have done it that way no matter what. But sometimes simply behaving like an adult comes back to you in a good way. Plot twist. Mary was partners with the embezzling employee. And was lashing out due to fear of being caught. Explains the removal of access to accounts. This was such a small company and he definitely needed her. And that was the day Mary found out that she wasn't indispensable. I would call her at 4 a.m. I heard you got fired, lol. Ring her from a private number and don't announce yourself. Just say into the phone. Don't ask me for a referral because you are not getting one from me. I'm embarrassed for the company to say that you ever worked here. That if I ever finds out where you will be working I will make sure that you're fired and will never get a job in this town again. The hang up. Wow. She sounds like she has serious mental problems I don't know how she can get a good job reference. From this company now. Good thing you escaped. All people bring joy to one's life. Some by entering, and some by leaving. Well, that sure sucked for the company. With you having your two feet outside and she jettisoning herself. 
She left the office two men short. The boss might have been supportive, but that must have hurt big time. You were probably doing a bunch of work that she was supposed to be doing that whole time. I read this and immediately thought she was the one stealing money and having framed one person who got fired, was ready to do the same to you. It's the only thing that makes sense in my tired ass brain. I don't think she is getting a referral from that owner. Since she harassed you, consider joining on the lawsuit. That would make it even more embarrassing for her. Backslash. Owner. Promptly fired her. Woof. That escalated and not in the manner Mary was expecting. No doubt. And now she's facing a lawsuit due to the damages. And it just keeps getting better and better. Of course. You do realize. Ah. That this is all your fault. And she will be gunning for you. Watch your back. Call her back. Ask her how her work is now that you're gone. I'm wondering if she took the $80,000. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.